Hello, my name's Kyle, and I'm in the top 1% of island decoration in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wanted to finally showcase my island for YouTube and anybody who may be interested in just copping different styles. I think the most interesting thing about decorating in Animal Crossing is that a lot of us are trying to make this happen without decorations, which is uh, pretty amusing to say the least. So naturally I want to make clear that what you're seeing is essentially uh, a work in progress, you know? It does reflect something in the way of a vision that I may have, but obviously at the time of recording, I just don't have all of the items that I'd love to have to really bring a place to life. The crafting bench normally wouldn't go in here. Boy, there's just going to be a lot of me looking around and going, oh no, not that. But that's why this video is getting made now, because if I allow myself to keep pushing it off, then the tour will never happen. And I think it's important to make that happen. So we're just starting with the house to show you the different rooms and how they've been populated. First room was the bedroom. Uh, second room you saw was the open, you know, living room there when you first walk in. And then I showed the kitchen and this is the little washroom area. And I'm not wearing any shoes. Got socks on in here. Soggy sock tour of the island coming up. We got two more rooms to show off. And these next two rooms, I would say, are the rooms I suppose I'm most proud of because at the very least, they're the most complete. You know, I did go out and uh, find a way to get a lot of the furniture that uh, was necessary to populate this room. Initially, it started with just a toilet on top of this earth rug. It's a really cozy room, Rick and Morty reference, if you will. But, uh... Like the madman I am, I suppose, wasting 50 stars on, you know, spreading some some nonsense across the back of the room was necessary. So, aside from that, we just got all of the the white furniture to vaguely populate this room, and, and there we are. I should probably, uh, I don't know, switch to something more interesting as we go downstairs, because downstairs may be my favorite room. It is the room that I uh, put the most work into. Down we go. Um, for those who may be curious, I'll go ahead and uh, showcase my passport. My name is Kyel, C-Y-A-E-L. My, my island's fruit are apples, and my island's name is Big Titty. Thank you. There's gotta be a way to like retake that picture, right? Is that something I can do now? Passport photo. Uh, take a photo, um, let me just zoom in there, uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, all right, terrible, and there we go, cool, let's go downstairs, and then we'll be able to go out into the island proper, here's hoping you're having a great day, or night, or whenever you choose to check this out, and I hope that it hits the spot. Oh man, you keep hitting that button by accident. What's wrong with you? I keep trying to put away the uh, weapon, but weapon. The tool, but. Here's my little vapor wave room. What aesthetic, what? Look at the bed and the lava lamp. Turn that TV off. I really wish there were a way to get this thing to shut up. It's why I can't have music down here because it would just clash with the noise coming off that thing. And I love the look of it in here, but the noise coming off of it, whatever. We got the broken JPEG picture back there. Also a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that vaporwave up on the wall there, you see that? Look at that, look at that Sanrio poster over there. I'm not sure that even fits down here, but I put it down there just for the sake of it. Are those two royal crowns on the wall? Money, 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 money. Oh uh, yeah, my favorite touch in this room is of course the camcorder facing the pool. As if to imply that I get down to some some degenerate behavior down here with the with the animal crossing honeys. Not the animals, that would be weird. You know. Only only platonic stuff with the animals. So it's uh finally time to go out into the island 
and I hope that you enjoy what you see. Nice. Again, uh, this game really has done a great job making it difficult to acquire most of the uh, items that you may be looking for, considering it's entirely random what you're going to end up with the ability to purchase or the ability to craft given that the DIY recipes are elusive depending on who you are um, real Pokemon type stuff with with going online and trying to trade with people for things that you would like to have oh my god Gala's one of my favorite islanders and look at her and her little sandwich how can I even resist taking pictures? Oh my gosh, she took a bite. How can I resist taking pictures with these beautiful villagers eating their sandwiches? Oh. Meh. Now I'm getting in the way of the sandwich. You see the problem here? Don't get in the way of the sandwich. As a matter of fact, stop doing that. Oh my god, she's so cute. Gala. We just keep running into each other today. Like, bruh, what the fuck? Let's talk. Bunny Day is almost here. When I was little, I used to go hit trees around this time to make pretty eggs fall out. I never asked how they got there or why coconut trees always had more than others, hint, hint. But now I wonder, as if I could give a damn about this entire event. Not that I don't appreciate that the developers uh went to the effort to establish a bit of DLC, especially in this, our time of quarantine need, but... Hey, Raymond, you okay? Brace yourself, because I have big news. Yours truly located and is now in possession of... <sighs> Wait for it. The Bunny Day Crown Recipe. Don't I already know half of these terrible, <laughs> gaudy and tacky. Jealous, don't worry, I got you covered. I made a copy of it just for you. Thanks? I wonder what other recipes are out there lurking in the shadows, just waiting to be discovered. This is just the type of intrigue that my soon-to-be-written autobiography has been missing. You go write that, mate. Or just pull out a weight and take care of business, this guy. So I'm seriously gonna actually take a look at this. Oh, what's that? I already know the recipe. Thanks. And the pile of trash on the island amasses. I'm not sure I meant to come over here first, but I'll go ahead and give you a small look at this side of the island, which I consider to be the most work in progress side. But I do like what I've done with the flowers here. Yay. Work in progress side of the island. I wanted to set up something of the way in the way of a little area over here. But even though I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. One day at a time, huh? Hello, Marshall. What's the good word? Well, let's talk. Ah, the magic of Bunny Day. Soft breezes caresses one face. Or caressing one's face. Plenty of sweet treats to snack on, hitting eggs out of coconut trees. That's a nice thing about magic. It doesn't have to make sense. Actually, I have something to give you. Here it is. I'm gonna put this little man in a damn baseball uniform and start calling him Champ. Put it on. Put it on, 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 put it on. Oh, look how cute he looks in that! You ready for your baseball game, Champ? If this were some kind of swag like they just hand out at a club, I'd take it in a heartbeat. But you're a friend. You can't give me something so nice for free. Here, take these bells. Oh, you didn't have to. This island is definitely in need of cleaning up on this side. I wouldn't just have flowers out in the middle of nowhere like this. But let's go ahead back to the main portion. This is where Rold lives. You know, the penguin. But he's a jock, so apparently he likes, you know jock things. I think Rold is one of the best uh, villagers or islanders because he's a little tubby man, much like myself. But he's a jock at the same time? Pretty bizarre. So I, you know, I couldn't find any snow texture so I just made a couple of terrible ones on my own. 
and uh, just decorated the outside of his place with that. A little bit of ice items, a little bit of workout stuff. And here we hear the whooshy whooshy of a present floating. What is it? Yellow means money. I'll be okay. Let's see what rolls up to. Someone should turn off that treadmill. Someone's gotta be me, you think nobody else is walking around. He's building something, which means I can learn something. Hey, 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 hey you. Hey guy, guy. Teach me your ways. Actually, I kinda wanna get the best angle on him, but I can't really do that, so, you know, forgive me. And there we go. All right, Kyle, you need something? What are you doing? You're not gonna believe it, I made a dark lily wreath, as if wreaths and you know, crowns and all kind of other nonsense are diluting the loot pool in this game. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. This guy's really covering some ground on an island. You know, were, were you just going in mad circles? How are you managing that? <laughs> it could have been de dehydration. Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Give me the DIY recipe so I can get out of here. You guys know how long I've been looking to find wooden bookcases and I can't find them? I'm sorry that I decided to talk to everybody on this tour, but I think everybody should. Anybody making a tour of your island, you stop and you talk to your villagers to give everybody a nice taste of the people that make your island your island. I would say that the villagers or islanders are one big variable that separates most of our islands from one another. Because we're not all going to want the same islanders. That'd be ridiculous, right? Even though I'm pretty sure that most people are chasing Raymond like, I don't know, he owes them money or something. Let Raymond live his life. So here's my little opening area on the island. You come out of the, uh, you come out of the airport. And this is where you end up. As you can see, my flag up there is hilarious. Look at that. You liking that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's this little lake area I established over here, which is right below the campsite. Oh my God! Freaking fossils! I'm screwing up. Oh, it's a, of course it's an egg down there. What the hell? Look, I may have said some things about this event, and I didn't mean it in a way that you know. I hope anybody took offense to. The long and short of it is that these items don't really fit any kind of I don't know they're just not for me it's just not for me so here's a little outdoor cafe area that we got going on I really do like what's uh happening here and um it was one of the first areas I decorated so there's that it really works for me you know well, we're going to go to Gala's area because Gala's one of my favorite girl villagers. So her place is, uh, is the prettiest. I got white roses, right? Hyacinths, a bunch of white flowers to kind of just decorate her area up over here. And I'm quite proud of this little area. Get, get on the damn, you're ruining it. Oh, now you want to do it. Jeez. She's not even home. Well, we did talk to her in the beginning, so I guess it's not the end of the world. It'll be fine. Let's go over to Pietro's house, because he is the second person I put a lot of love into decorating the... Jesus, look at the weeds. Decorating the home area of... You'll see that it's kind of empty and barren over here, and I guess as it pertains to decoration, I kind of follow the rule of just leaving things. There's a bottle... Could be a DIY recipe for the wooden bookcase I've been looking for. Just kidding. I wish. Um, you know, I don't want to force decoration. If something strikes me, then I go there. A pair of wardrobe? What in God's name? It's gonna be it's gonna be a cabinet for a wardrobe in the shape of a giant pear, I'm sure. About as tacky as the type of thing we would be able to make with eggs. Look, I did find use for one thing in this little event. And it was the balloons. I thought they were wonderful. And what did the balloons go well for? Well, as we go up to Pietro's home, you'll see that I've decorated the exterior of his house. Kind of like I did with Rold to, I want to say, fit who he is and what he's about. So, Jesus, another one on the crown? I'm not digging that up. Wait a minute. 
that's an extra rose then should be over there. Okay, just gonna... Alright, now it's now we're talking. See the red, the orange, and the yellow rose over there. And then the white, the pink, and the purples. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is stuff going on here, you know? You, you know it. You know it. So this is the exterior of Pietro's home. Well, oh, weeds, you're killing me. You're killing me. I didn't want to. All right, just give me one second. Just gonna put that back down. All right, so this is the exterior of Pietro's home. It's kind of got a really crazy little, little kid appeal aesthetic. I love it. It's colorful. It's silly. It really works for me. And my favorite part, of course, are the barbed wire fences, you know? Because fuck them kids. You hear me, kids? I'm kidding. Let's go. Pietro. What's he doing? Think he's building something? Or is there a limit to how many people can be building in your, uh, in your island at one time? Let's see. He's just standing there. Welcome to Casa de Pietro. That's Spanish for Pietro's crib. Oh, boy. Um, I wish I had something for you, mate, but I don't. Word on the street is that there's going to be a fishing tournament this Saturday. Like I care. What a fish ever done for me. Normally, I'm not a big fish catching guy. I like to say, what's up? Oh, you're going for that ironic thing, man. Really out of time with that reference. Jeez, man. Dated this guy. You really do fit in here, don't you? To, to them in the museum. But I don't want to win. I do want to win that trophy, and you've got to catch lots of fish to win. You want a trophy? For what? I'm trying to cop this guy's ground so bad. You saw the upstairs area in my house. This this little cloud effect on the ground would fit wonderfully with the wallpaper that this dude just took from the area that I had going on up there. What a guy. What a guy. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of want those like spinning things that he has going on back there. I saw a variation of one that has numbers on it. We'll come back to it. This is like a tour of the island, right? Whatever. So as we continue uh, across the island, I would say that perhaps the most visually appealing part is actually Pico's area. So let's just go down to show you her area. Man, there are so many fossils on the ground. It's insanity. You love it. Look at them flowers. Oh my god. The OCD is wild, isn't it? That's OCD right there. All right, here we go. Um, so, look at that. Look at that bridge up there. Oh, Pico's just sitting out there. This, it doesn't get much more cinematic than this, man. Give me a, give me a picture here. Oh, she's drinking with her neck, too. Don't you love that they do that? They better fix that. They gotta try. Try to fix it. It's like they all smoked a lot of cigarettes and now they got a hole in their throat. And they drink through it? That ain't right. Oh no. Oh no, they drink through the hole? Oh, like of course when she was blinking. You can't you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> alright, fine, alright, fine. So here's my area that I built around Pico. I kinda got a lot of red flowers over here and uh, I really do find this visually. Just satisfying. It's got a real aesthetic out here. You know, you love it. I'm telling you, man, this is how you get to top 1%. You can't play around. You can't just have anything situated anywhere. Can I even get over to you properly? What's up, Pico? <laughs> Lay it on me. I like to keep the area around my home cleared of weeds or fallen fruit. I just need it to look nice. I want to give a good impression before visitors even come inside. Also, what if my parents drop by? She's adorable. That being said, she easily has the the most space devoted to her area and the most insanely visually appealing area of any other villager. You could call this Pico Island, and I was avoiding looking at the map for everybody, but here's a good helping of it. To the left of my home, you have a little bit of Raymond. He's over there. As we so, saw before when we went up to that little area to the right of the uh, the center when you get off the, the actual airport or get out of the airport, that's where Gala is. You saw where, where Pietro is. 
and right where we are right now that is where Pico lives this whole island area is devoted to her so let's head towards the top of the map and I'll show you where others are situated I would say one of the big differences between the map that I've made here and what I keep seeing on the internet is that a lot of people really do bunch up all of their villagers together and I guess th that gives them space to work with as far as the the rest of the map is concerned but I, I really wanted them to have their own areas their own space and maybe because I'm something in the way of a a hermit claustrophobic douche I didn't want everybody too close to each other here's an interesting fact as you can see I have this little area leading up to my museum with four unnecessary and obnoxious uh, ramps that lead right up there here's something funny did you know that you can only have eight ramps on your island total maybe you haven't gotten to the point where you're decorating out the uh but like that but you will reach a point <laughs> where you're out of ramps or out of bridges because you've placed too many and eight is the maximum how do you feel about that so over here of course we have the able sister shop put up a little boxing ring for when I feel like getting that WWE on. You know what I'm talking about? Um, you see where Nook's Cranny is. I, I really hope that Nook's Cranny can become a mart. A shopping mart. Because I am not getting any of what I need. Ever. And the only way for me to get any items is to just go online and trade. Or bid. And it's a nightmare. I'm not done decorating the right side of Tiffany's home. But the left side I've done a little bit with. I do love Tiffany. The instant I saw her the first time, I just knew that I needed to have this villager. She looks angry with those eyebrows. And then she's got, you know, a cock cocktail waitress outfit on and all of the makeup. She really looks like a bitch. And that's what I love. <coughs> I just love it. Welcome to my humble abode, Bun Bun. How are you doing? The fishing tourney that's all you guys are talking about i can't wait until we're far away from the fishing tournament and this bunny nonsense well you are a bunny i guess i guess you should enjoy it better more than any of us huh because easter's all about you <laughs> apparently what am i saying of course you are it's a fabulous event mm -hmm. fabulous get out of here you're, you're going crazy can't keep it together around this lady i don't know why i didn't think a jukebox would uh you know act as a music player of course it would Girl got two dart machines and two pinball machines in her home. But I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to cop this billiard ball table. So you're surprised to see a billiard table in my home, are you? It's true. I enjoy perspiring almost as I in, as much as I enjoy wearing sneakers with a ball gown. Ooh, you aren't like other girls, Tiffany. <laughs> Still, I do work out on occasion. As part of my beauty regimen, fitness is the key to fabulousness, I say. Girl... Do you need me to get you a laptop so you can start Twitch streaming right now? What a woman. Later, Tiffany. I gave her a gold rose and she set it up in her house. That's so cute. That's part of the reason I try to abstain from giving my villagers too many things. Because sometimes I just want them to have something nice, but they end up putting it up in their house. I like I gave a, I gave Gala a crown and she put it up in her house, and that's adorable. So here we have Lazy villager Lucky's house who is not home and that makes me sad I love the interior of Lucky's home it's nothing but like tombstones on the ground you see I've like gotten some oil drums some garbage cans to just populate the exterior of this dude's place why not waka waka we got some skeletons back there try to make this look like a cauldron you know how it is he's not home forgive the placement of these uh, mums here I'm trying to grow um, other, everything's always in the way. There's Lucky. He's not wearing the shirt I gave him. Typical. Hey, yeah. Uh, nice day for a walk, huh? I bet it is, Lucky. Boss, your outfit is really cool. What? Some dude designed it? Nice. This game really does have a fun function where if somebody designs, you know, your outfit and then you download it, it shouts them out via your villagers, and that's uh, pretty interesting. So shout out to who made this design. I really do like it a lot. It's a boo from Mario on the bottom of the shirt, if you haven't seen that. 
Where we're standing now is the exterior of Coco's home, and my headcanon for Coco is that she is literally not of this world. Coco is also not of her home right here, so wherever she is, we, we have no idea. I do wish she was home, because I wanted to talk to her for the sake of this tour. So that people who don't know what Coco looks like would understand why I have all this uh, space stuff out here. Because she does look kind of like an alien. And up here we have Anka. Who is also not home. Where are my friggin' villagers? Where are they? I've decorated her, the exterior of her home in a kind of Egyptian old school. You know, we got some sphinxes and some clay furnaces as well as a bunch of weeds i want to have only yellow uh little yellow and gold things going on up here i'm gonna get rid of that red eventually where are my people there's things going on on the other side of this bridge but i've been using this area as pretty much a dumping ground for a bunch of flowers that i need to cultivate so there's nothing to see here right now but eventually there will be one of those easter bottles mocking me taunting me what if I want nothing to do with this ridiculous event because all of the items are... I mean, I'm crazy. I'm the only one out here, you know? Any other YouTuber, you'd probably... Well, I guess I'm not a YouTuber at the end of the day, so there it is. Any other, you know, douche, what is up guysing at the beginning of their video would probably be acting like this is the most exhilarating and, oh, man, it's the craziest event I've ever seen in my life. I can make all these eggs. Eggs? A tacky-ass colorful eggs? What are you going to do with that? What are you going to decorate these... Boy, where... Do you think they're in the museum? No, they could probably also be shopping. They do that. So let's see if we can find Coco or Anka because they're missing. Another clay furnace. You guys have done it again. I love my, fr uh, you, you're selling the same stuff that I've seen in here a billion times. That's so cool. Please, I'm gonna come back in here tomorrow. I want you guys to have the exact same stuff. Also, don't upgrade the shop. Because it would be a shame if I could have a selection of more items. Bye. Oh, I, I'm going to burn the place down. I'm going to burn it down. Oh, they, they won't. I just want to go in the back room. They won't let me in the back room. So, there was a... Uh, you know, that doesn't look like it aligns with this path well. If anything, I should probably go into construction mode and then bring it down for three tiers. You know what I mean? For three little spaces. Can this be pushed up more? Nope. Oh, it can. Why don't you look at that? And then I could pull this down three. I could do it now, but it's like, man, I'll do it when I come back out. I'm really interested in finding those, uh, those villagers. Where'd they go? Please be in here. There's Anka. There's Anka. Hello? <gasps> A spaceman outfit. Wow. Thank you. Mmm. Anka! I hear that someone from An Isle, or Any Isle maybe, is how that's supposed to be pronounced, designed this. It's captivating, don't you think? Am I, I'm, we're looking up at like somebody else's design from another island? Well, that's interesting. Uh huh. I wonder if there's anything I need to like steal today. And by steal, I mean buy, of course. I'm not trying to hustle the Able Sisters. That'd be ridiculous. All right, we got some weird robes. We got some probably overpriced noble coats. Nurse top, overalls. Spaceman suit once again. Should probably buy another one of those and have it sent to my house. These are probably pretty cute. You want one of these? You want one of these? Uh, I have some. Then I'll just get a purple one in the event that somebody ends up craving it. And that'll be that. I'll buy it, but I'll say that I don't want to wear it out so you guys can send it to my house. And that'll be fine. That puts to bed the mystery of the missing villager. This is Anka. She's like an Egyptian kitty. She's fairly sought after right now. There are cards going for $100 on eBay for this villager. 
Little did people know that you can just buy NFC chips for like five cents and then use an Android phone to write whatever villager you want on there. I adore the style, but I just couldn't pull it off. She's adorable. So, um, all we're missing now is Coco. The villager whose exterior had a kind of space theme. I can make an asteroid, but I'm just not sure it's worth wasting the materials on. And it's funny that I say that considering I've wasted so many stars on the little garland wall decoration that I had upstairs. Ridiculous. But I guess that's what it's all about. Blathers is asleep and we can keep it that way. I have nothing for them. Man. I have completed the, uh, the fossil portion of, and there she is. I can see her feet already. It's kind of amusing that she's in here looking at fossils when she is kind of bizarre looking herself. This is Coco. They think this was one of the first kinds of fish that had jaws. All the better to eat you with. Pretty scary. This fossil was donated by you, right? Thanks so much for that. God, I love Coco. Her and Lucky are just some of the weirdest villagers and I can't get enough of them for that. Man, look at that face. Jeez. How could I not get you? You'll be here forever. And that's my island, guys. For now. Again, the areas of which I'd say I'm most proud are probably the exterior of Gala's home. Um... Obviously, Pico's area. I like what I've done with the outside of Raymond's place and Rold's place, but it's not my favorite exactly. And in time, when I get the decorations that I actually need to be able to make some crazy things happen, we'll go from there. Because the game is so young, and let's say that some of the creative or artistic people maybe haven't exactly gotten gotten the hang of navigating, you know, the kiosk at the Able Sisters to share some of their creations. We're probably going to wait a little while before people really throw out some crazy textures to tile the floors, some crazy designs to inspire us, and we'll be able to watch our islands evolve. I do want to thank you for taking the time to check this out. Thank you for tolerating me. And uh, I hope to see you again. I wonder what the island will look like next time. Bye.